Cause you gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by this title, this is a very different video than the ones we normally post. This is something that we could have never imagined could have happened to us. Um, as you can tell by the title, we tested positive for COVID. And if you've been with us for a while, you know that last year addicts tested positive for COVID and we all thought that we got it. But um, it was nothing compared to what happened to us this time. This has been one of the hardest things that we've ever had to go through aside from Bella getting diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. This has been life changing. So we want to just um, tell you guys what happened and explain to you where we are now. So um, the first thing is we all found out that we tested positive and we all got a fever. That was the first thing, yeah. right? Um, and how did you girls feel when you first found out? Um, I felt really scared, but I honestly didn't really think it was gonna be anything too bad because like the first time it was like really nothing, but like this time it was like not what I expected at all. Yeah. Like it was like what people say, like it was like the bad stuff. Like, it, was, it was bad, yeah. And our biggest fear was the first thing before anything happened um, was Bella because as you guys know, Bella is a type 1 diabetic and Bella, your, your, her blood sugars can get like really crazy if she yeah. gets sick and she can end up in the hospital very severe. So that was one of the biggest fears we had, but thankfully Bella is actually the one that got it the least. Yeah, so she was just, super strong. She was very strong, yeah. right Bella? What yeah. do you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what to say, she's yeah. so cute. Yeah, I but you can tell them, go. <laughs> With the Tylenol? Oh yes, so Bella remembers that the first night that she tested positive for COVID, um, we tried to give her a little Tylenol, like a little, like the little pills, the, chewing the chewables. Chewable. Yeah, and it made her like throw up because she just didn't like it and, and she threw up. So that was the first um, like bad thing that happened. Yeah. Um, before anything, we do want to say that um, Alex, as you guys know, he is an officer and he works um, with, uh, he was working with positive inmates. So we believe that he got it from work, and that's how we all uh, got it. I work in an area where pretty much all the inmates are either positive or on quarantine. So, yeah. I mean, the chances are high that I got it at work. So let's, I'm just going to get to the to the main thing, because this is the main thing that has happened aside from COVID. Yeah. Um, Alex and I actually tested positive for pneumonia. So pneumonia is a complication from COVID. And um, we were, okay, so I had fever for like eight days. Like my fever was not going away. You know, I had body aches. I would stay up at night crying. Alex would have to massage me because the pain was just so bad. My body was just hurting like, like never before. And it was really scary, um, but that was stuff that, you know, I could deal with. I could take the pain. Um, I could take the headaches. We were all very tired and sleeping. Yeah, we can handle all that. But um, at one point, my oxygen started to get low. We have this little oxygen meter, that, which I re definitely recommend if you, you or your family gets COVID. Um, we were checking our oxygen at home, and when I noticed, like my oxygen was very low. So I, I was like, something's wrong with the meter. Maybe my nails are too long. I literally cut my nails off to see if it was that, um, but it wasn't. Um, I went to the urgent care, and they told uh, they told me to go straight to the to the emergency room because my oxygen was dangerously low and i feel like that was probably the hardest part of all this because they had to take me to the emergency room and then when they went to drop me off we didn't know if i was gonna get out of the hospital okay if i was gonna live because my oxygen was just so dangerously low like yeah, my oxygen was... was 91 92 and that's usually when they put you on an oxygen machine so that was honestly like one of the scariest moments of my life like when my mom was getting out of like the car and I didn't know if she was gonna ever get back in the car so I started like I know it sounds scary but it was just like really we all started crying it was like really emotional and right now because of COVID like they don't let the family go in they just let the patient and everybody else has to wait outside and 
when she was getting out of the car, we all got emotional. I started crying, Jasmine, Bella, we all started crying. And we were trying to be strong because we didn't want that to be, you know, what the she remembered uh, going into the hospital. You know, we wanted her to be, you know, to but have in that moment, memory of, our, of us being happy together. It's like I was giving them a hug and I didn't know if it was a hug goodbye. Like, was that the last hug that I was ever going to give my daughters and my husband? Or was I going to get out of the hospital and come back? I didn't know. So when I went in, I was so scared. I was shaking and my oxygen was low. Um, but thankfully, as I sat there in the hospital bed, um, the doctor was like, you're at 92 and usually we give oxygen at 91. You know, you're like right there. Um, let, let's just wait it out. So. We waited it out for a few hours and my oxygen, I just kept praying to God, God, please don't take me away from my family. Please help me to get strong so that I can, you know, be there with them. I want to see Jasmine and Bella get married. I want to see them have kids. I want to be... It was really scary. But... But God took care of me and my oxygen just started coming back up on its own and it just started coming back up and it was enough for the doctor to say okay i'm gonna send you home in case of an emergency if it drops again you come back but i want you to go do this treatment it's an antibody treatment and it's gonna save your life so i did it it's called the monoclonal uh, antibody treatment yeah the red the reg oh, Regeneron. Regeneron. So I definitely recommend that treatment if you know anybody who has COVID. Um, it's it, they they give you four injections, one on each arm and um, one on each side of your stomach, and that treatment saved my life. It, it gave me what I needed to fight COVID, and he got the treatment as well because he also got pneumonia. Um, his oxygen never really like dropped to the point where he needed you know like to go to the ER, but he, he did I had that one night. he did get like chest pain and stuff. So anyways, yeah. um, this has all been very scary and this is not to scare you guys. This is not to make you feel more scared with COVID because I know that it's scary and that, you know, you guys have to go to school and that there's a lot of stuff. But if you're watching this with your parents and stuff, this is more to like share our experience and also like bring awareness of like that this is real. You know and, it, and it's scary and your situation can change like this like i had gone to do an x-ray and i didn't have pneumonia and three days later i had pneumonia so what i want to say is if you guys get covid the first thing i recommend is for you to get it even before you get covid if you are watching this and you're an adult get an oxygen meter because this can save your life literally this is if i wouldn't have had this i wouldn't have known my oxygen levels were so dangerously low um check your temperature if you have fever for a few days you need to go get seen and one of the main things is like headaches too like we all had a, we had really a lot of headaches and it was like so bad and i had a cough too which i still have a little bit of a cough yeah and another big symptom that we had was tiredness the first oh God, week yeah. first couple days yeah was... we were like sleeping all day long and like these and two never take naps and like i have me, to fight them to I take a nap never wanted to take a nap in my entire life like you can ask anyone that knows me i hate to sleep and i and i have a picture of you sleeping should i enter no! it here <laughs> what? i took you and bella a picture no! well, you sent it to me at work <laughs> what you sent me the what picture. do you mean i sent it to your work you were here i'm talking about when she was napping oh because we hadn't got yeah. the results yet oh we okay i'm like results. what <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was it, on my way home and yeah. he sent me the picture showing me that he had to go to work until we found out that we were positive and then he couldn't go to work anymore. But um, it's been really crazy. Yeah. Um, this has been a very like traumatizing experience. Yeah. But the most important thing is that we're all okay, we're all alive, we're all here right now filming this video for you guys to let you know that we're okay. And if you know you're worried because I got some messages asking if everything was okay and i just want to let you guys know that we are okay but we did really go through something very scary that we didn't know what was going to happen but thankfully we're here um alex and i still have pneumonia um we're taking antibiotics and a lot of medication to get better so hopefully soon we'll get better but i do notice that like whenever i do like just getting doing my makeup this is the first time i do my makeup in two weeks um, but <laughs> 
just doing my makeup gets me like kind of like tired and I have to kind of yeah. like take a deep breath and my oxygen is still not perfect but it's it's in a safe place so yeah simple simple tasks that you take for granted on a normal basis mm -hmm. like now it, it yeah it makes really. you out of breath you yeah. you just do simple things you, you prepare and dinner or do any little thing around the house and you're like oh Hold on, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah, and even though this is like really sad and stuff, and like it's sad to make this video, like I'm so glad that we have each other because like the things you take for granted, like you don't realize it. Like what you guys were just saying. Like and it's crazy because I feel like I'm always like, I don't know, like you don't appreciate the stuff you really have to like it, it's like taken away from you. Yeah. And I feel like if there's one thing we learned with this whole nightmare with COVID and everything, has been that to not take your life for granted and not take the people that you care about like listen to your parents do good in school find stuff that makes you happy just find the little things that make you happy and just enjoy your life because life is short and the most important thing that matters is family it's not what car you drive where you live nothing it's just your family and the love that you have for each other i can't wait to and one thing, huh? and one thing that you should know is god is real and he'll always protect you, you just have to count on him. Even oh my when life is getting tough, you just have to count on him. You always make sure that you'll live for as long as possible. You're so beautiful, baby. <laughs> And when I was scared to get those shots, I kept thinking of Bella and everything she goes through with her type one and how brave she is. And it was painful, but I did it because I wanted to be brave like you. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to live, of course. So I had to do it. Um, it, was, it was like, I have no choice. Um, but yeah, anyways, I also wanted to, what I was gonna say was that we miss our family like crazy. So if you guys are watching this, Vanessa, AJ, Adrian, Grandma, Grandpa, Nana, Nano, everybody, um, our family um, that we usually see on a daily basis. We just want to say that we, we miss you guys and we love you and we can't wait to give you a big hug. Yeah. And um, yeah, like I just want to thank everybody who's messaged me and who's messaged us to see how we're doing. Um, our, our friends and stuff thank you for you know like worrying about us and we love you guys so much and i'm just so grateful we're all okay now and like we could be here and like share the rest of our journey with you guys and like i don't know this is like emotional i know it's an emotional video <laughs> it's like um, hard to say stuff because it's like i don't want to cry like on camera and like start ugly crying but like <laughs> i'm trying to so cute <laughs> thank you but yeah, so this video was a little different, not what you would expect. Um, but yeah, we just want to say that we're okay now and that we love you guys so much. We're sorry we haven't posted in like two weeks, but that's now you know the reason for it. Um, we've been going we're through. We're gonna start posting a lot more now that we feel better. Yeah. Well, I I still don't feel yeah. that much better. But yeah, we're gonna try to post um, a little bit. Uh, what's to say? A little bit more often. Yeah. Like we're gonna try to post again soon um i don't know what you guys want to see make sure to comment and let us know what kind of videos you want to see more fidget trading videos more turning 21 <laughs> maybe fidget trading, fidget trading. Fidget trading. i like turning and fidget guys there's another thing that i want to say <laughs> this is actually a happy thing i want to i guess um so while we have been stuck at home in quarantine um recovering Jasmine and Bella have become obsessed with gaming. <laughs> so they are literally obsessed with gaming. That's yeah, all they're playing is Roblox. So I'm thinking that maybe they should get a gaming channel. What do you guys yeah, think? Yes, should they get a gaming yeah. channel? I love Aubrey's and gaming. You yeah, like I like it, but I'm a little Do bad at it. it so Bella's is. actually the one that's been teaching me because I was like never really into gaming, but like I, I started playing play. and it's a little wow. fun. So I yeah. beg. To yeah, play. she literally begs me every day, and now I'm like sometimes asking her to play. Like it's <laughs> yeah. Fun. Sometimes so. I join her game, and when I'm playing with my dolly, I just see her. Yes, I won this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Well, maybe not that, but you're always playing real game. <laughs> well, anyways, um, I think that's going to be the end of today's video. We just wanted to let you guys know what was happening. Um, please don't cry. Don't be sad because we are all feeling a lot better. Yeah. And I know that God is going to continue to take care of us and we're going to, you know, recover from this. 
but you guys are like a family to us you know you guys have been a lot of you have been with us throughout the years some of you might be new um if you're new welcome to our family <laughs> um but if you've been here for a while just know that we love you guys so much and you mean so much to us and we have been like dying to tell you guys what's been going on but we just needed to get the strength because right now we might look normal but if you would have seen us two weeks I know, I we were looking a little crazy <laughs> Like a little too crazy. Like, like, like a little like, like, bad. like it's crazy, like, like bad. And I was like with my hair bun, like the baggy <laughs> clothes, like it was like this. And pajamas, no, maybe the same. No, maybe the same pajamas for a few it's, days. You know, it was a little crazy, crazy. <laughs> but I don't know. I finally got my hair good. <laughs> so, so, oh, and also my appetite left, so I lost like five or six pounds. Oh I wasn't God, eating yeah. it. It was bad. Been so difficult. I lost my appetite a little bit too, actually. Oh, and what, how we thought we had COVID? Daddy lost his sense of smell. Oh, we, oh we, yeah. we didn't tell you some of the symptoms. So let's really quickly tell you before we end the video. So, what were your symptoms? I think the first dead giveaway was that he I lost, lost my sense of smell. Yeah. I, yeah. I was, I was cleaning bit. my hands with some sanitizer that usually drives me crazy, and I'm like, I couldn't smell it couldn't at smell it. all. We all lost our sense of smell. I still can't smell. Yeah. Jasmine still can't smell, yeah. We, we, Bella got her sense back. I got mine back. He got his back. Jasmine still can't smell. So like if Super Dad were to fart right now, she'll be good. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just hoping you still be able to smell that. So let's not do that today. Yeah, we only to smell like alcohol wipes. Dying. Yeah. I, mean, I can't even it. smell garlic or anything. Yeah. But one good thing is none of us lost our taste. So that's good. Yeah. You can still taste the pizza. Well, I couldn't. Ordering. I couldn't <laughs> eat anything because I was oh. just like disgusted. That was by one food. day I could. Yeah. I could taste, but I everything tasted really bland. So I'm not sure if. Yeah. And if, if you know me, good. like if you know me, know me. I love pizza. That's like my favorite thing ever. And I was so sick that I couldn't even eat pizza. Like I couldn't eat anything. I just did, I was not yeah, hungry. Yeah, you were eating like it was soup. Really, I was eating like like maybe like three or four spoons of, of of you soup. Three, it was bad. I yeah. hate soup, but you three were eating soup like for days. Like you guys love soup. We don't love you soup. Don't we're trying to get better. Guys love. You guys were eating. Oh, and I do want to mention one last thing in case you are a type 1 diabetic or you know somebody who's a type 1 diabetic. Um, Bella's sugar were actually very stable throughout all this because usually when you're sick, especially something like COVID, you know, her, her blood sugars can get so high that she could go to the hospital just from that and have complications just from that alone. But her sugars were actually very, very stable. So that has been just a blessing from God for her to be so stable, even with such a yeah. horrible disease. I feel like when she has colds and stuff, it's like her sugars are crazy. But like with this, with COVID, was... for some reason, it was like <laughs> yeah. under control. I mean, that's one good thing. Oh, and one thing I did want to say, this is kind of random, but something that really helped me, like with my cough and like to feel better, was like taking, uh, eating a spoonful of honey. Like that was really helping me and it was giving me energy. So. Yeah, so that's and I you guess. Hate honey. Yeah, I don't like honey. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, the main thing that I would recommend. To <coughs> okay. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> the main thing that I would recommend again is this oxygen meter. It measures it measures your oxygen and lets you know that you're breathing okay. This definitely was a lifesaver. And we also got a thermom a thermometer, yeah. but yeah. for our head, because the doctor says something that the other Yeah, this one was, we got one for, for our head, and it worked really good. The, the highest the too. highest fever that we got was 101, and that was yeah. me that got 101, and I think Bella one day got 101. But we didn't get any. Yes. We used to have one like right out the case. <laughs> that was so important. Yeah, now so we have one with the a case. case. Definitely made it perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. And that's gonna be the end. Fun. This is getting like a little. We're like now we're just I, yeah talking about even, about cases uh, <laughs> for the oxygen meter. So um, that's um, gonna be the end of today's video. And I'm so glad we're okay and we're able to be here with you guys. Yeah. And yeah. We're gonna start making some fun videos for you guys. I wish you guys were here so I could just hug. I know. You I just guys. wanna hug everybody. Well, not when we have. No. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. No, 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 we're good. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things that I was saying that we just can't wait to see our family again yeah. and and hug them because we're very close with our family and. And I miss AJ. AJ so we miss you. We haven't seen him in like forever. over a month. It's I been know. so long. So. AJ, if you're seeing this, I love you and I, I miss love you. you. I miss you. Yeah, we've been FaceTiming. Yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah we just want to say thank you to god for keeping us alive and healthy and thank you for you guys for all your love and support yeah. we love you guys to the moon and back and hopefully in the next video will be a lot funner and it won't be the little sad faces yeah. that you see now <laughs> all right we love you guys hashtag jb squad i'm here fam love you to the moon and back bye